eliminates all ginger. Hello, good people, bad people, indifferent people. Now, let's crack on straight away. There's a lot to get through. Hope you're all well. The lovely John Haddock, who knows my penchant, that's French, for also Rose, sent me a couple of things. Thank you, John. He sent me two of Yvette Nestrovas with the camera. Soaps. They come like this. There we are. They are four ounces. They cost about £2.40 um, in English money per puck. There we go. And you can smell the scent straight off. As soon as I open the box, boom. There we go. So, John, thank you very much. Um, I know a lot of Johns, and I would say that John Haddock is probably in the top two of the Johns that I know. <laughs> Sorry, John. <laughs> right. Can it use more synth? I'll give that a bit of a wet. Uh, UFO, Goliath XL, R41, and a feather in there. A couple of days growth, and I had to put, I've got two. There's one, that's how they're sold, and I've got another one in a Grundtoll. Um, I might have overcooked it um, when I was just softening it up in the microwave, but I think we'll be all right. There we go. So, we are going to crack on. Where are we? Um, <clears throat> it will be interesting um, to see. I do love Rose, Rose um, soaps. Um, I'll, if I can, I'll put the link up to when I reviewed, was it True Fit and Hills Rose? Um, and I identified all the different roses used in that soap, and which was later. Um, verified by independent experts and I got every one of them correct so okay that's laughing up though why am I surprised I shouldn't be surprised there we go I'm going to just do it straight out of here I think let's be whacking so if you ask me what or which the best um, rose soap was um, couldn't really be sure to be honest with you um, Tobbs is good, Teenage is very good, um, Trumpers is very good, I prefer Trumpers Lime, uh, Lime? Um, Violet, I have to say, of the Trumpers um, range, however. But the interesting thing about this is it's made from goat's milk. Whoops, straight on the wall. Oh gosh, it's going everywhere. Now this is going to be thick, it's going to be. Yeah, bit thick, um, because I'm rushing three minutes in. Wow. Um, okay, let's put, put that one out of the room. Just move that out of the way. <laughs> Never gets boring. Okay. All right, let's have a crack at this. So, no, yes. No, yes. This is made from um, goat's milk. Um, hence my homework that I set you all was to look up and educate yourselves about goats. Now, some of you did, some of you didn't. So, uh, just a brief overview of goats. Um, they were invented by the Chinese about 600 years ago. Um, they came to Europe by way of the Isle of Man. Um, and goats are pretty clever animals, really. Um, most of them are fluent in Greek. And they talk to each other, they communicate to each other using a series of guttural clicks. Um, yeah, clever stuff, isn't it? So, the soap, um, lovely scent. Um, it's not synthetic at all. Um, well, it's not, because I've, I've seen the ingredients that go, that go into it. Um, they're all on Eva Nestrova's um, eBay and Etsy site. Um, Eva, get yourself a website, it's easily done. Um, and it is all pucker stuff that goes into it. So, yeah, I'm liking that scent. Um, this lava is my fault. I haven't really done it justice, I've rushed it really. It's 
screen and not. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So yes, goats. Um, I believe Eva feeds the goats that she has with the ingredients which go into the milk, and then she makes the soaps out of those. So I had a quick look on her site. She's got some lucky um, sheep. Some of them get bay rum, some of them get lime, some of them get peppermint, some get coconut. So, yeah, lucky sheep. Goats. <coughs> I was interested to read that goats are quite prolific um, hunters. And um, they will stalk their prey for up to up to a week um, before going in for the kill. I didn't know that. <coughs> okay. <coughs> right, first pass. It's nice and moisturising. Um, I've had no pain or tug there at all. Done well under the bottom lip, which is always um, the big test for me for a couple of days great. Mm. And it's smelling great. It's um yeah, not bad at all, right, actually. And believe you me, if I didn't like it, I would say. Just get a bit more of this going for a second pass. Let's see how good we can get this, shall we? God, I'm going to regret saying that, aren't I? <coughs> Six minutes in, who's still watching? Hands up. Oops. If you can smell um, toothpaste, by the way, um, you'd be right. Um, just before we went live here, oh, someone sent me a message. Um, he he's emptied half a tube of toothpaste all over the, the bathroom floor. I wasn't impressed. So I'm, I'm getting a rose infused with spearmint and various other things. It's no bad thing. Okay. Okay. Bit better than the first um, attempt. Isn't it? Look at that! Look. You think I've got someone down here doing this for me, haven't you? And you know with synthetic brushes, if you go that way round, they don't work. You have to go clockwise. Remember, I did a tutorial on it. Yeah. Lots of people down going. Oh right, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's a much better laugh on it. Look at that. It's slick. It's shiny. There's no sting there at all. It's, um, it's sitting there very comfortably. Now, for a £2.40 soap, the scent is um, is not £2.40's worth of scent. Um, and neither is that lager. I'm very pleased with it. There we go. So, <clears throat> I think, Eva, Mr. Eva, you're on to a winner, eh? and I thank John very much for sending them to me. <laughs> I used um, my Topps German Street in the week, I haven't shared this with you until now, and uh, it's in the Bentley driving to work and um, my face actually stung. I've never done that before with um, with any top product. Very strange. But I like uh, I like this. Because what you won't see is afterwards when the, we've turned the cameras and the lights off um, and how nice my face will feel. So you'll just have to imagine it. Yeah, I am uh, unpleasantly surprised and impressed. Pull that little bit off there. Yeah, so it's not synthetic at all. It's um, yes, it smells of roses, obviously, but it's it's a nice scent. She's done. Uh, Eva, you've done very well there. If you ever get to see this. Mm. 
Yeah, other soaps would um, would tuck under there, um, even after not shaving for, for the day. So very quick tidy up around there. I'm pleased I didn't break the um, the soap. I microwaved it for too long and um, opened the door, and there was just this bubbling mess on the plate. I'm like, I've broken it, but it seems to be yeah, it seems to be fine. It's made of uh, good stuff. Goat's milk is good stuff. So what else did you find out about goats? Did you know they can swim? Yes, they can. Well, they also have no sense of height. You'll have seen um, the pictures of goats on, um, on mountain ledges. That's a mountain, isn't it? Um, they have no fear of heights at all, where I do. Well, not heights, but edges. Do you know what I mean? Um, I don't mind being high, but uh, I don't like edges. Some people don't like clowns. I don't like edges. So there we go. So, 11 and a half minutes. And I'm very pleased to have met Eva by way of her soaps. Yeah, not bad at all that. I mean, £2.40, obviously there's shipping on top of that, but um, yeah, that's good. Nice scent to it, it's done really well. Rather still there. Splendid. So, thank you John, thank you Eva. Um, yeah, various um, scents uh, available. Eva Nestrova is um, this lady's name, she's based in Oregon, she's been making soaps for about eight years. Uh, you tell us some And um, yeah, she does a, a wide range of flavours, flavours, scents. Um, and look her up on eBay and Etsy. I found her on Etsy just by searching for her name. So there we are, good people. Oh, happy days. Nice that. I'm going to keep that, I'll let that dry out, I shall keep that around my mirror. What have I got? I've got Claw, La Père Lucien, um, some Haslinger, and now, there it goes, some Even Estrova. There we go. Right, enjoy the rest of your evenings, good people. I'm going to go off and be gorgeous. And uh, I will see you very soon. Be good. Promise? Be good. And nice. Life's too short.